Hello everyone, I am Arbit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can import RSS feed to Google Sheets automatically. Now what we are doing, suppose you are tracking a website and you want to know the information which is updated on that website or which topic is removed from that website or what is happening on that website. So what you can do is you can copy those RSS feed links and then use those RSS feed links into your Google Sheets as a backup data so that whenever there is a change in that website through RSS feed we will have that change automatically added, submitted and saved in our Google Sheets. Now, to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service Pabli Connect, which will help us connect any RSS website or I should say any RSS feed from a website to our Google Sheets automatically. Now, if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen. So what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and type in pabblypebly.com slash connect. And then we will press enter. And here you can see we have two options. Either you can sign in or you can sign up. If you already have an account, you can go for sign in. You, if you do not have an account, you have to go for sign up. Signing up is absolutely free. And we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here. So I already have an account here. So I will just go for sign in. And after that, I'm just going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. After doing that, you will see a new window will open and here you can see these are all the automations I have. And now I'm going to create a new automation. So I will just go and uh, click on this create workflow button. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it a name. So we are going to give the name here. And what we are doing, we are doing RSS feed to Google Sheets. Okay, so I am giving it this name, you can name it whatever you want to let us just click on create and as soon as we will click on create, you will see we have two windows here. First one is trigger second one is action. Now trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So what we are doing here in trigger, we are having RSS feed capture. So we will just go for RSS. And here we are going to click on new item in feed. Okay. Now, you can see this is a website in India, which is a very big news channel znews.india.com slash rss.html. And I am going to take the RSS feed uh, link from here. And as you all know, it is also given here the definition of RSS what it is. RSS allows regular users of the web to stay informed by retrieving the latest content from various sites they are interested in one saves time by not needing to visit each site individually. So that is why we are saving this to our uh, Google Sheets so that whenever there is an update on this site on any particular uh, RSS feed or any particular uh, what should I say any particular topic you are going to save that in your Google feed. Now this is an example. I have already done this for my, uh, you know, for my uh, trial when I was using this automation and now I'm going to show you how it's done in real time. So let us just go here and create a new Google sheets for that. So I'll just go for blank sheet here and I'll just give it a title and link. Okay. Now here I'm just going to name it RSS feed automation. So this is our Google Sheets and now what we are going to do, we are going to put the data here. So I'll just go here and now let us see the title nation, world, states, Asia, business, sports. Okay, I'm interested in sports. So I'll just go and click here. And I will copy this link address. I'll go back to Pabli Connect. I'll just click on connect. And now you do not need to do anything. You do not need to connect anything. You just have to paste the URL here and you have to click on save and send test request. So as soon as you will click on save and send test request, you will see that uh, you have this uh, new uh, title here, IPL 2022 RCB is one Indu Hasa Ranga inspired by Neymar explains his celebration style versus KKR. And here you can see uh, the link of the news and if we will copy this and if we will paste it here, we will be able to see this news here. You can see this is the news IPL 2022 and this is the latest news which we have right now 
and that is why it has captured this in our Pebbly Connect account. Now let me tell you one thing, this automation is capturing the link and the title now, but it will capture the remaining details or the upcoming news and details within eight hours. Okay, so you will do this automation, then after eight hours, it is going to grab all the information again, and it will, you know, post it in Google Sheets, like I just showed you a few minutes earlier, and same after eight hours, again, it is going to fetch the news, and then it is going to post it in Google Sheets. Okay, so it will be working within eight hours of time. Now, what we are going to do, we are just going to go here. Our first step of connecting our RSS feed to our Pebbly Connect account is complete. Now here, we are just going to go and choose Google Sheets. And here what we are going to do in action event, we are going to click on add new row. So as soon as we will have data, we are going to add new rows of that data into our Google Sheets. Let us just click on connect, add new connection, connect with Google Sheets. Now select the account in which you have your Google Sheets to which you want to save your data. Click on continue and after clicking on continue, just go authorization successful. And here you can see I have to select the spreadsheet. So the name of my spreadsheet is RSS feed automation. So I'll go for RSS feed automation. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let me take the data from this window and it will let me put the data here in this window. So title is this and link is let me just map in the link link is this okay so here you can see this is the title and this is the link now what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on save and send test request and as soon as i will do that you can see a new entry will be made in my google sheets and here you can see this is the new entry and when i will click on this and when I will click on this again, you will see this is the news which will get open here. Now, after eight hours, I will have more of content in my Google Sheets. If I will keep my workflow on after eight hours, I have be I will receive the other news on the sports, which will be available in the Z News India channel. Now, I have told you how you can do this uh, automation very easily and <clears throat> how you are going to take the feed. Now I have this here. You can go to any website and you can take any uh, RSS feeds from any website and uh, you know paste it here and use it uh, for the information and then you can grab that content into your Google Sheets. So you can use Google Sheets as a spreadsheet and you can use other spreadsheets as well. It is not necessary that you use Google Sheets but this automation is very helpful, especially for those who wants to be uh, who wants to keep themselves updated for uh, for a particular kind of uh, news like business news or stock market news, and for those who are into blogging as well, because bloggers can take a very 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 good benefit from this automation. Now, if you want to use and clone this automation, you can just go into my description box and clone it into your account. And for that, you need to go and sign up because if you do not have an account, you have to go and sign up and make an account now signing up will also give you 100 free tasks every month so that you can practice the workflows here and i want you to use this specific workflow because it will be very beneficial for you for your professional as well as your personal life so keep loving keep subscribing hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now, if you want any other events to edit in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now, I just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and I will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you